Thanks for joining us for another Kickstarter conniption. Today we're looking at Hunker from Paper Wild. And we always want to make sure that you're aware that our Kickstarter conniption videos are sponsored in part by our Kickstarter backers and by the creators of this game. Let's get going. Thanks for joining us at Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. And today we're looking at Hunker. This is from designer Aaron Franco and illustrated by Elizabeth Jansowitz. And it's being brought to Kickstarter by Paper Wilds. It's a two to four player set collection, uh, pick up and delivery game. Takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. Uh, we were sent a prototype copy to check out. So let's burrow in and see what the game is about. To set up the game, place down the modular board tiles for your player count. Place the scoreboard nearby with the event cards, stacked with hunker emblems, and stack the snow tiles and dice for your player count. Deal two friendship cards to each player and give them their shelter tokens, animal meeple, player aids, and then you're ready to begin. On their turn, the players roll the nature's whim die and place a token from the corresponding bag onto a forage space. If the outsider is rolled, the player selects a region to place the pawn and draws a token from the bag. No one may head to a forage zone that contains the outsider. Next, the players take three actions, which include things like moving, foraging for food in that region, or building a shelter. They may also dig in the snow to clear a path, or replace their socialized cards. Animals may also, at any time, eat a food token to gain its abilities, hunker down in their shelter to hide from the snow, stash food to gain victory points, or befriend other animals by playing action cards like paying a compliment or placing snow tiles away from other animals' shelters. Once they've used their three actions, players must roll the snow dice and place the snow tiles within two spaces of their animal. Whenever a snow pile is depleted, the event card for it is resolved, and if players are hunkered, they will gain a hunker emblem. Otherwise, they must drop some of their unstashed food. Play continues until all the snow tiles have been placed. The round finishes and points are awarded for placing the most sheltered cubes, for gaining hunker emblems, and for stashed food. Each player also rescores their scarcest food. Points are tallied, and the player with the most points wins. Hunker is a clever little ecosystem simulation game. The storyline behind it is that the fox has challenged all the other wilderness animals to a contest to see who can uh, gather the most resources for the coming winter. The game takes place uh, through the fall as animals are gathering their resources and trying to put them in their little secret stashes. Uh, and then as the snow comes and builds up and covers the entire board, once everything is covered in snow, uh, the, the animals compete to see who did the best job of gathering their resources. Yeah, and while this is a competitive game, um, you will gain bonus points at the end for doing, for having the most shelter cubes out or for having uh, the most hunker emblems and being prepared on time. Um, it does have a few things uh, to the game that are cooperative in that you are allowed to um, hunker down with another animal in their shelter and hide from the storm. You can't stash your food there, but you can um, take shelter from the storm. You can also use those uh, friendship cards. Most of those in the deck will have you doing something to help other animals. So it has um, kind of a friendly competitive feel to it. All the characters are just a little bit asymmetrical, which is nice. They're pretty balanced. Some of the animals, like the deer, can travel more spaces on its turn, but has to build a bigger shelter, so it takes more actions to put down those cubes. Things like the rabbit can travel slower distances, but it only takes like a single shelter or maybe two to be able to hide in. And so you, when you get those player powers at the beginning of the game, it's going to determine a little bit of your strategy. Are you going to be the deer? Try to get to all of the different foraging locations. There's a bonus at the end of the game. You get more points again for your smallest stash. So if you kind of want to have a balanced number of tokens so that you can get extra points for those. Um, a lot of little different variances in what your characters do that will determine what your strategy is going to be in the game. 
Yeah, one other thing you can do on your turn uh, that we didn't describe in the um, setup is you can borrow food from other animals as well. And when you do that, you'll spend one of your tokens and then you can borrow the action on the other player's token that they haven't stashed. So when you have collected food, it sits face up in front of you and it will stay face up and you won't gain victory points until you have gone to one of your shelters flip the tiles over and stash it, and those ones cannot be eaten later in the game. Uh, but ones that you do have face up, um, the player who owns those food tiles won't actually discard them, um, but you can discard one of your own to borrow somebody else's. And that's handy because there's limited actions on those tiles, and you can only take them, you know, the movement action, if you actually have the symbol for it, which is pretty neat. Uh, in the game, it can be a teeny bit vindictive as you are placing the snow tiles out, uh, especially if you are right next to another player and you can kind of lock them behind the snow. Fortunately, your movement power to move the snow out of the way is pretty powerful, so it's not a huge dilemma. Uh, it does look really cool on the board as the snow covers all the tiles. Yeah, if this sounds like something you're interested in, you can check out the Kickstarter campaign for Hunker, which will be on Kickstarter soon. And then be sure to check out our videos and just subscribe to Tantrum House. Hunker from designer Aaron Franco. This is from designer Aaron Franco and illustrated by Elizabeth Jo... And illustrated by Elizabeth... This is from designer Aaron... <laughs> Stumbling over the words. Paper Wilds was kind enough to send us a copy to check out, so let's... Let's hunker in, let's burrow in. That's what I was gonna say. You like that? <laughs>